baseball fans and welcome MLB the show has action out of the AL Central it's the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers all right we'll be back to get this one started after this so almost ready to get underway and today's starting pitcher Casey Mize it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day when he's right he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot the same tunnel and that can make life very on difficult on his opponents. now it's the second baseman Edward Julien And he deals. Fouled off to the right. Righty to the plate. On the ground to the left. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Austin Martin. And one of the most versatile players. He can bat anywhere in that order, and he can play anywhere on the field. Not just the outfield, the infield as well. Fly ball down the line. Beerland makes the grab. Two down. That is third. The left field. Here's Alex, Alex Kirilov. Kirilov. Kirilov, 26 years old, a former first round pick back in 2016. Just oh missed. <laughs> to the right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. Twins retired in short order. The Tigers coming up, no score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Detroit, and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. I'm going to report on him, Chris. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. And now here's a speed friend, outfielder, Matt Beerling. And a pitch. That one inside. And it's 1 0. the zone for a called strike. And a 1-1. Fought off foul. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. And another ball. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And here it comes. Stays alive. Line of the pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Leading up. Here's Montana. The third Mark. And fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Ground ball left side. 
Off balance feet. There's one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Here's Riley Green. And first offering is fouled off. And that's oh, in the dirt. Good. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Farmer brings it in for the third out. Scoreless after one. Back at Comerica Park. Here's Byron Buxton. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Smoked in the left, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Manuel Margot up to the plate. And a swing and a miss. 0-1. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone move. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay right. Oh, and a swing and a miss. And that's the first down. Really good hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher, he's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. Now it's going to be Austin Martin. Save it second, and that was not close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far, so why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Kicks and fires. And nope. that's outside. Okay. And that's ball one. Swing and a ball popped up. And that's a fair ball. Fires to the plate, but it's offline. He will score. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knot. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Mines, hey. keeping him close. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos oh, Santana. And a curve is down and in. Kicks and deals. That nope. one missed. Outside. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Martin leads off first with one away. That one 
Fouled off two and two. And the right hander deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two down. Bows it back with two strikes. Man at first, one away. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, out, three, double play. And the inning is over. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's an early one nothing lead. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We head to the bottom of the second, and here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Right through there for his strike. That's to third. What a stop! Gathers and throws, and he gets him. Nicely done. Don't basically have to be so quick with the first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, standing on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Gio Urshela to the plate. And there's a foul ball. One out, base is empty. That Whoa. misses. And the count even, one and one. Whoa, Wouldn't chase right that there. time. The count two and one. That's in there. And another ball. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Struck him out swinging. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's the second baseman, Colt Keith. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Left-hand hitter waits. Strike two. Oh, two is the count. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Tigers are shut down there. They trail here, 1-0. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Christian Vasquez. Mines, back to work. That misses, 1-0. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And he deals. Ground ball to the right side. Torkelson it. takes it to the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting on the third base. Kyle Farmer. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Right through there for a strike. Ah. 
Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And the pitch. That misses the zone. Now one and two. To the right side, Keith. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. The bat. The second base. So two down now, and here is Edouard Julien. Inside just missed. Two out spaces empty. That one fouled off. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Skips in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins, but they lead it 1 to nothing. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. And now the DH, the Carson Kelly. Carson Kelly. Here comes a pitch. Fastball in for a strike. Going one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. Foul ball still low and two. And a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Pitch misses there. Going to count one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. That's out to center field. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting it. Not shortstop. Javier. The batter now, Javier Baez. Shortstop takes the ball. The line to kick the pitch. High fly ball, right field. Margot settles under it. That's out number two. Batting up. The catch hit. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Pitch. Ball, that's well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off that pitch. Three. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for Detroit. And it remains 1 0.
back here in Detroit. Here's Carlos Correa. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Oh, and two now. Ball one, ball, one there. Two strikes. That two one in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Slider misses outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and lead off batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Alex Kirilov digs in down. First pitch, and he just misses. Correa gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That one ripped. And it hits the fence. Bro comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. The bat out. Just a solid swing right, right there. Caught it out front and lift it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And next is the designated hitter, Byron Buxton. Golden opportunity right here. That's off the mark. Ball one. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Mark there, and the count is 2 0. Oh. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. And a swing and a miss. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Up the middle. He's in there. It's 2 zip. Now, right Here's Manuel Margot. Went down on strikes his first time through. And the slider just misses. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. There's the strike. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. And here it comes. Foul ball still one and two count. At the belt and fires. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now that the Boston Martin now at the plate. Single that drove in a run his first time through. to second there's one double play what a clean killing to end the inning a run a hit and a man left we're midway in the fourth it's the twins two and the tigers nothing
So digging in, leading up near left. The right field. The right hander back to work. And there's the strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That pitch gets the corner, and that is strike two. Well, they didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. The line of the pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One down. Make quick work of him right there, Siggy. I know that's the kind of a bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, what was he doing up there, right? Yeah, and I get that. I mean, you take two straight strikes, then chase one way out of the zone. It's it's just not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. And now Mark Cannon. Right through there for a strike. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. Could have a really good day out there in the mound. The Tigers yet to pick up a hit here. And that one fouled off. Inside off the mark ball. there. And that is ball one. And a pitch. Bounce it off, still one and two. Great. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no, no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Green batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The Tigers trailing by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Down in order go the Tigers. They trail it here, 2-0. And we're back, Leading ready up, now up, for the fifth up, inning. The and here is team. Carlos, Carlos Santana. Santana. Mize back to work. In yeah. for a strike. It's 0-1. In the air to left center. Sizes this one up. And it's caught for the out. Now bad. Catch it. Christian. So here's Christian Vasquez. Grounded out his first time. And that's outside. And that one upstairs. Two balls, no strike. And another ball. Here's a 3 0. And there's the automatic. Headed down the line. And it's foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Good plate oh, appearance yeah. there. Able to take the walk. 
Now got it. So a man aboard, Kyle, Kyle Farmer, the Farmer. next twin up to hit. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Steal, steal, Runner steal. on the goal. Bounce to the left side. Oh, and that's just foul. Righty to the plate. That's and takes low for ball one. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. This ball's chopped on the ground. Fires over to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Now So up next, Edouard Julien. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. And we're at the top of the fifth. And ball. there's a ball. Activity in the one bullpen. Ball, Alex Fiedo getting ready to go. Olsen also throwing. And the righty deals. Right through there for a strike. Takes a swing, appeal to third, and no swing, says James Kingsley. Man at second. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Coming home. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they lead by three. And well done, drives in the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Well, now here's Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. He's 0 for 1. And a strike on the outside edge. Two outs. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And one and two. Julian off the of first with two away. In the air, right side. Fair ball. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Oh, the throw is wild. Up next, and then the left fielder. Alex. Now the left fielder, two. Alex Kirilov. One for two. Oh, Misses inside. off the plate, and it's one and oh. And the pitch. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Well, they just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And ball. another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. Left-hand batter waits. That one the other way. Hauls it in to end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Spencer Torkelson. The pitch. That one finds the zone. 
And that is strike one. Well, these Tigers just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Martin makes the grab one oh, down. The, the third, third baseman. baseman. Gior Shella steps in. His oh, first at-bat was a strikeout. Right through there for a strike. Oh, and one. On the ground. Throw on to Santana. Now only one out remaining. A couple of pitches and now a quick out. Second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Keith. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Now this is in the air down the line. Kirilov on the move. And that'll wrap it up. The Twins get a shutout on the mound. This is just a nice win. 3-0 ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you score, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Twins, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left five runners on base. For the Tigers, no runs on no hits, no errors, and they left no runners on base.